Hi, I'm Maggie. I'm Sam. And I'm Deanna. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. Tonight we saw Ragtime. Okay, we're in 1906, and it's centered around a lot. It, uh, it's centered around a lot of different people and um, different areas of New York. It, it follows people in Harlem. It follows uh, the immigrants in Lower East Side and the tenements, and it follows this family up in New Rochelle and Westchester. And their their lives intertwine. And it tells the story of the passage of time and the passage of events and the things that the social upheaval of the time. There's a theme of success and finding the American dream is a huge part of it. Cole House wants the American dream for his son. Tato wants the American dream for his daughter. The White family kind of already has what might be considered the American dream. It's one of those stories that, you know, it's like that movie Crash where all these different people are, you never, you can't figure out how they're ever going to end up, you know, intertwining at the end, but they do. Quentin Earl Darrington, who was Cole House, he was a really standout performer. His voice is beautiful. His acting is very strong. He's a, he's a very interesting character. Talk about a powerful voice. He's a very big guy, and he just had this amazing presence on stage and um, just an amazing voice. Sarah is played by Stephanie Umo. She's lovely. I was impressed with her. I thought she did a nice job. She has a gorgeous soprano, a gorgeous belt, she sings this beautiful lullaby. Christiane Knoll played mother. She was definitely my favorite in the cast. Her voice is so beautiful. Her acting is so powerful. She had everything one would want for that role. Robert Petkoff played Tata, and I just thought he blew me away. He had so much emotion in every single song, everything he said. I just really felt um, that he just did such an amazing job. This show is directed by Marsha Milgram Dodge, and she has done a masterful job of, of putting it together. There are so many people, and they're all on stage so often, all at the same time. It's so intricate. I, I'm, I'm so impressed by what she did up there. The thing I love about Ragtime the most is the music. It takes my breath away. The musical arrangements are beautiful. The set is fabulous. The set is three different uh, levels. You know, there's different levels of, you know, when they're inside the house, you can see the second floor and the third floor. Um, but it's really just kind of scaffolding a setting. I wouldn't say that the set is, you know, remarkable by any means. It's a very bare minimum set design. It helps you kind of visualize more for yourself, which I really appreciated. I loved it. Actually, this is the second time I've seen Ragtime. I saw it 10 years ago when it opened on Broadway. The cast this time was amazing and, and just, you know, right up there with the original cast, absolutely. Oh, I loved it. It was so, it was so powerful and so touching and I, I, I don't, didn't know the show at all, so I, I wasn't sure what to expect and I was really, I was really pleased. The first act I loved. I thought it was spectacular and it has all the little vignettes with political figures of the era. The second act is, is heavy. I don't remember it being so sad. I mean, there were a couple times that I definitely teared up. Um, it's a very, it's very serious, um, it's a very serious story. When my friends ask me if I enjoyed this show, I will say I enjoy it very much. I will also have the one cautionary thing that it does turn very serious and a little heavy in the second act. And I would recommend it to really anybody. It takes you on a roller coaster of emotions um, and I think that that's what people like when they go to see the musicals. If you will love.